Hello Hive! Uh, today we're out here winterizing our hives or wrapping them up for the winter so I wanted to do a quick video on it and I'll do a blog post as well uh, to show you what we use and how we do it. Uh, this is going to be a handheld one so hopefully I'm not too bouncy but I got to be able to move around to show you everything. Here you'll notice that we use two different types of wraps. The black ones are um, commercially available bee cozies and I'll zoom in on a, a label here in a minute so you can see what those are. And then the other ones are some uh, DIY wraps made out of hot water tank wrap. Uh, so it's a little bit less insulation, kind of like bubble wrap in between two layers of foil. And those ones do a good job at reflecting heat back into the bees and also reflecting sunlight away. Uh, to help maintain that steady temperature that you want inside the hive over the winter. So these are what we've been using the longest and we've had really good success with those. So last year we tried out some of these bee cozies. They have quite a bit more insulation to them. What we saw in the few hives that we used them on last year was that our bees brooded up much quicker in the spring, which is a really good thing if you want to do splits. Um, but potentially not such an awesome thing if you are worried about swarming and you want to keep your apiary the size that it is um, because you will notice a much quicker uh, growth in your hive in the spring with these or at least we have um, enough so that we went out and bought a ton of them uh, to start to kind of transition towards wintering in these. Um, not necessarily because our survival was better but just because it helped us achieve that quicker brood up. Um, so I'll zoom in on one of the labels on here so you can see what it is if you're trying to order some. So these are called Bee Cozies, um, available at most beekeeping stores. They come in two different sizes, one for two story, which is like two brood boxes, and one for single brood boxes. Uh, we run most of our hives in double brood boxes. So underneath there, there are two brood chambers and an attic. So if you only had the two brood chambers and no attic, um, then this would actually like smush down under your hive lid um, and it would do that just fine. So the way that these are meant to be used is with this seam to the front. So there's actually no insulation from here over to here and it makes it sort of like poof out right in the front center. And they call that a chimney, so I can actually look down in that and if the camera focuses I can see both my top entrance right here and my lower entrance down there. So this is actually meant as a space for bees to move outside of the hive in the winter. And then at the bottom here to keep the entrance open for our bees we put a screw um, right above our entrance reducer so that they have room, whoa hello, room to come and go type of bee cozies run about 30 bucks at a local beekeeping shop. A really economical option is these hot water tank uh, do-it-yourself ones. So these just come in a roll or a sheet and we have like taped them to size which is nice because you can really play around um, with the sizes you want. We've made them big enough to cover both of our brood boxes and our attic box and then we've cut a little entrance for our top entrance here and this is a better one to show an example of. Um, we've cut it so that it kind of like hangs down on the sides here so that no wind is getting through um, the crack there, but that it, it comes up to allow bees uh, access to their lower entrance there. I'll show you inside one of our attic boxes. I'll try and do this with one hand here. Get the lid right off. So inside our attic box, we have another layer of bubble wrap down there to reflect heat down into the hive and then insulation on top of that. We like to waterproof our insulation. So this is just like actual house insulation, waterproofed in plastic. You can buy Ziploc bags now that are big enough to stuff any insulation you want in there. And you can use anything you have on hand. Um, some people do like to not waterproof their insulation with the idea that it will actually suck up moisture over the course of the winter. If you do that, you just want to keep an eye on it and switch it out if it gets wet, because what you don't want is a giant ice block on top of your bees. Um, so there are kind of two schools of thought on that, but just be aware of the difference in, in maintenance.
If you found this video helpful, please let me know in the comments. If you have any questions, let me know. Uh, and if you'd like more of this kind of content, then consider joining The Hive. It's access to a bunch of exclusive content from me on all things beekeeping and hive products, uh, kind of hosted through Instagram, YouTube, and a blog. I'll leave the link in the details.